Hey there, Hank with Eye Contact. Let's take a look at building a simple landing page in Eye Contact. It really is quite simple. To get started, choose landing pages from the left hand menu. From here, we can click on Create Landing Page. As you see, we'll be greeted by a canvas where we can start building our landing page. One of the first things we need to do is give it a name. Let's call this Real Estate. Great, now we can also enter a title. I'm gonna do the same thing, I'm gonna call this Real Estate. Next, we wanna start developing a framework. Don't worry, we can always change this later. Most landing pages usually have a logo on the top left of the page. Let's mimic that. I'm going to choose this two column row right here. I'm gonna drag it over. And this would be the beginning of building our landing page. I already know I wanna to move to a one column section right below this two column section. I'm going to go ahead and bring that over now just so that you can see how I'm thinking in my mind, how I wanna create this page. Now we can start putting content in. Uh, before we move over, you notice there are different options for adding different types of rows with different columns. These are all adjustable. We can adjust the width of the column as needed just by doing this here, just by moving the slider. Let's go back to content. I already know I wanna drop a logo in the top left. Let's drop that there. I'm gonna go into our image library. I already have a folder set up with images I wanna use for building this landing page. You can either have yours outside of a folder or you can create and organize folders in your media library. Let's choose the logo and the logos in there. The, the logo's a little bit big. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I am going to make it a little bit smaller. That looks right. We could put alt text, uh, we could put logo, uh, realistically, you want to make this be SEO friendly or search engine friendly. I probably would put Dune's real estate logo here, and we can also add a link to the website. Uh, but this looks pretty good so far. Next, I'm going to add the social media icons on the right side because I want people to follow us. We can edit each of the social media properties, add our links. We can also add more social media properties like you see here. Can also change the size. I'm going to make this one a little bit smaller. I want it to be on the right hand side of the page. And I really like this black look and feel. There's also this white. I'm going to head, go ahead and use uh, this um, black color here. And I think I need to add a little bit of spacing to the top so it just doesn't look funny uh, against that logo. Wonderful. Uh, we can have people follow us on social media as well as go to our website by clicking on the logo. Uh, if you haven't noticed every now and then, the system is automatically saving our progress, which is wonderful. Now, I want to captivate my audience by capturing their attention with a really cool image. Let me choose an image from my library. Once again, go into my folder. I am going to choose a, an, an image to add here. Let's go ahead and use this one here. And what I also want to do is edit this image and we can put some text. And let's type in real estate. To meet your needs. I don't like the red. Let's go with black real estate to meet your needs. Wonderful. We can also add filters. We could transform and adjust this image. I'm going to save this as a copy and then go back out. Wonderful. Next, uh, we can add uh, alt text to this image as well as the link uh, and change the size. We have a whole bunch of alignment options and spacing if we need it. Next, I want to add a three column row. And I'm going to put text. And also I want an image right below the text. And then I want a button right below that. Wonderful. Here we're going to say residential. And we're going to format this. I'm going to make it bold. I want to bring the font size up a little bit. Let's say 16. And I want to have it be centered. Wonderful. Next, let's work on the image. We want to choose a residential image. This one's wonderful. I like the size of that. And the button will be 
view homes. Again, add a link. Uh, here's a really cool option. What I can do is duplicate the title, move it over here. And for now, I'm gonna duplicate the image, bring that over, duplicate my button, bring that over, change this to commercial. Let's check into our image. We can click change. And we need something that represents commercial properties. And that could be uh, uh, this one once again. Let's change the button text to lease now. And we'll go through and duplicate. It's kind of a theme here. I think I made too many. I could delete one. And my button, duplicate my button. And this one can be property management. Awesome, let's change the image. Let's change the image. And change the button to work with us. All right, and don't forget to add your links. Awesome. Next, uh, we want to add a form. We would probably add some more text uh, and get people to understand what we do. This way we can convince them to reach out to us. For the sake of time, I want to add a form below. Moving back to a single column row and moving to content, we can add the form in here. And this would be a form that we've already created. I do have one uh, for the real estate landing page. I'm going to select that. And it says get dunes in your inbox. And it meets the styling of the page with the black button. Anybody who comes here and fills this out will be tracked as well as will be added to your eye contact account. This is pretty much a simple landing page that can be built it's easy. We also have the ability to use a caption which allows you to put text next to an image in different formats, a collage, a collection of images, as well as a YouTube or Vimeo uh, video. We can swap that out and put a video in here if we wanted to add a divider between two sections. I don't like that, I'm going to remove that. We could also add HTML, custom HTML. We would drop the block in, put our HTML in, check it, make sure it's working okay, and then go ahead and use that HTML. With editing, we have the ability to undo and redo. Under tools, we have spell check and help. And more importantly, once we get close to being done, we can preview our landing page to see how it will look before we click publish on both mobile and on desktop. This doesn't look so bad for creating it so quickly. You can also use the theme feature. Coming over to the theme, you can adjust the theme, whether it be the width, some of the colors, text, alignment, link color, the button color, line styles and layout styles while you're working on this landing page so that it is more effective and meets the needs for you and your branding. Once we've completed the landing page, we'll go ahead and prepare to publish. And you see this is the importance of having a title. Uh, that turns into our URL and we can also describe our landing page in detail and then click publish. And from there, we now have our landing page. We can grab the URL and share it on social media, put it into a uh, email campaign, whatever we want to. We can preview it, get the embed code if you want to embed this on your own website. You can remove the logo on the social media if you already have that on your web page, and you can embed this page in there. We can copy and reuse if we need to make a similar one, and we can uh, look at the reporting. Let's look at this report here. By looking at this report, we have a lot of information, how many visitors, unique visitors, how many clicks and how many form submissions there were, the referral sources on the left side, was it email or other, then how many visits from smartphone, tablet and computer, as well as the, the metrics broken down here. How many visits, how many clicks, form submissions, and new contacts that you've gotten into eye contact from the landing page if it had a form, and your click activity on any links on that page. 
You can create a segment based on any of the metrics here, export the landing page data, which is all of it, preview it, and then just view the landing page. Here's our landing page all complete. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how you can easily create a landing page in your iContact account. Support is always available if you need it. We'll help you create one. See you in the next video.